Hey guys, it's uh, the 2nd of September and I figured I'd just show you my watermelons. We've already picked three. I had four plants. I got nine watermelons. These are small sugar baby watermelons in the store. They're called personal watermelons. But I figured I'd just take an opportunity and uh, show you how I check them for ripeness. You can test them in the store this way or anywhere. They don't have to be on the vine. Just knock on it. If it sounds hollow, it's ripe. That's all you need to do. That way you're not disturbing the watermelon because what will happen is if you turn this over in the field to check that spot and you leave it like that, this spot will get sunburnt and the watermelon will rot. There's another little bitty tendril that comes off right at the end here and uh, if it's dry it's probably right but really the way to test is just to knock on them. If they sound hollow they're ripe and you can check them throughout the season and you'll get familiar with the sound. When the watermelons first form knock on them you'll notice the sound and every week you go out just knock on your watermelons and soon you'll notice a distinct hollow sound and you'll know it's ripe. But that's really, it's just getting water inside. You can kind of get the same feel for it by just knocking on a, a full gallon of uh, milk or something. Because you'll hear that same hollow sound. Well, no watermelon video is complete without this. I want to show you. These little sugar baby melons, they have a ton of seeds in them, but if you just take, when they're good and ripe, it's easy to do too, and just go around and carefully, you'll see the rows of seeds, and you can basically pull the seeds out just like you would a musk melon or a honeydew melon. dump those out onto this plate and you're really not losing much in the way of melon most of that is just strings from the seeds and the seeds themselves now you have a nice seedless watermelon that you can eat and these babies are nice and ripe and sweet Makes its own bowl too. Mmm. Mmm. Another thing I noticed about these sugar babies, and I haven't grown a lot of watermelons, but uh, they did grow well, even though it was a dry year. Plants didn't get big, but they produced fruit, and. Uh, these ones, I mean, like I said, it's September, September 2nd. I actually let them go probably a good two weeks too long. Once you hear that hollow sound, you probably want to be picking them within a week or two. Or they'll get overripe. But even though these ones are overripe, they're not all pithy and, and dry like the ones you get in the store. Mmm. They're still really crisp and sweet and juicy. And once you get that all ate out, you can just tip the bowl up. And drink the juice. Anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for all the comments and support. Finish my watermelon. Mmm. Man, that's perfect. This was the biggest watermelon I had, so I'm gonna I'm gonna save all the seeds.
from the three biggest watermelons I had. I'll be planting them next year. Mmm.